podcast not everyone's cup of tea to consume an entire podcast that's why welcome to the ranvi shows highlights channel drs clips subscribe and hit that bell icon could you describe your state of mind in those 2 3 days sir or were you completely in the zone of strategy you know i i i i was not able to strategize directly because if i were the commissioner of police i would have uh, dealt with this matter in a totally different manner what would you but have but here no i i would have uh, commanded uh, my commandos uh, who were there who had ak47 and various other equipment could to go inside and uh, deal with them i could have uh, dealt with the qrt which mr a and roy had created and kept in the uh, south region office that anti terrorism office and various others who were willing to go barge in and do that that's one then uh, uh, since uh, six pieces of intelligence had come earlier uh, you are aware about it so we could have trained people we could have bought bulletproof vehicles we could have brought uh, better weapons we had the ak47 enough and more and with all those preparations if he had kept ready somebody had kept qrt also i mentioned about 50 uh, 56 people were there so all that readiness was there but we could have sharpened more we could have more made more things available more men ready we could have bought bulletproof jackets and um, uh, bulletproof helmets and things like that that i would have done but then it happened like it was just uh, again what you said lack of anticipation lack it of can anticipation happen anytime and unfortunate that yeah. uh, we had uh, that kind of uh, uh, people at the helm of affairs that's it unfortunate you know so i i mean i don't know how else to articulate this but you kind of had front row seats to this whole incident as it was playing out from a strategy perspective yeah. and you were in your 50s most young people think that many of my major life lessons will happen early in my life and here you're in your 50s where you're witnessing i was event. almost going to be 60 because uh, i retired in 2011 this happened in 2008 i became commissioner in 2009 so in about one and a half two years time i retired so i was at the uh, late uh, 50s early i mean uh, not 60s uh, late 50s that way 58 <laughs> a uh, 58 58 and a half and things like that but then we had seen earlier blasts i mentioned about 93 blasts we have seen uh, we have seen 2006 blasts and various other blasts we have seen i wanted to also tell a, a, a lone wolf uh, we uh, tackled in mumbai called dr mohammad jalis ansari uh, he lived in that bindi bazar area he is a doctor alone he got into some uh, thing and 57 blasts he uh, was personally responsible single handedly so that kind of people are also there we have seen all those things uh, uh, happening so he started with the sutuli bomb as they say you know with that rassi they make and in the police headquarters he had gone there and put it there in the uh, parade ground some child while playing the ball went running he went there and picked it up and got blasted and also he tried it in various police stations and various police officers and all so that kind of people also we have seen but this is a concerted attack by the neighboring uh, country and this is on a like a preparation for a war what was your personal learning from this whole experience no my personal learning is thousand learnings that you are anticipation intelligence coordination um, uh, picking up all the straws from the wind and getting people ready anticipation as i told you helicopter view of uh, attack can come from land so when i got an opportunity as commissioner of police i prepared it from all possible say for example they said uh, uh, we don't have uh, enough bullets to uh, do pra- fire practice so i bought seven simulators for 1 and 1/2 crores each and put it in seven different places in the city where computerized shooting can be done by people so you go and fire enough uh, thousands of bullets you like and uh, sharpen your skills so this is anticipation this is practice and also later um, uh, we we started training centers in azad maidan then um, uh, we did uh, uh, 43000 policemen i did medical examination free of cost by the various doctors and institution we created a complete uh, data uh, about how much healthy they are and we gave them printed books as to how uh, i started 30 gymnasiums three gymnasiums worth 3 uh, 1 crore each one in worli one in uh, naigaon police headquarter and one in kalina they were all donated by the people the money did, didn't come from the and other 27 uh, police stations i created a gymnasium 25 lakhs each so i prepared them physically by doing a medical examination and told them this is where you stand you have to lose your weight and you have to tighten your muscles and all we bought the uh, weapons we bought the boats we uh, augmented the supply from the government of india so that way um, training centers or a place called prerna near azad maidan police station was created where training programs can be conducted for uh, mental um, uh, tightening of these people preparedness for people and physical training was happening simulators where they could go on fire so all these things put together 
did work well. Oh. Good point is from 2008 to now, we don't have uh, any such incident. Yeah. Two small blasts did take place later uh, in Zaveri Bazaar and one more place, but then there were minor incidents, uh, small incidents. This kind of a concerted attack did not take place, but it did take place in Patankot and Uri and places like that. 